Hey there, my friend, Patty Dominguez here. Episode 143 of the Positioning to Profit podcast. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for listening to today's show. Today's episode is a solo show, and I am going to be speaking about how to brag without bragging so that you can build your authority. Because let's face it, part of the whole positioning process is, of course, not only the mechanics of your positioning, but it's also the activation of that positioning. It's putting yourself out there, as they say. It's highlighting the things that you're doing in the name of truly wanting to help. So it is a bit nuanced in that you want to do it the right way. And in today's episode, with some quick tips, you will learn how to brag without being braggy. Before we get into the show, I want to share with you a little something, something. If you are holding back on promoting yourself, on really owning the thing that makes you unique and the thing that makes you special, Well, then my friend, this could be just a matter of your internal positioning. So one of the best things that you can do is start working there before you work on the mechanics of your marketing. And if you go to magicmirror.vip, again, magicmirror.vip, I have a complimentary download and it is revealing the secrets to releasing that self-doubt. And all you have to do is go to magicmirror.vip and grab a copy for yourself. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so that's the theme of the show. It's going to be a really special show because I'm sharing these tips that I know for a fact will be really helpful so that you can promote yourself and position yourself to profit. And with that, let's get on with the show. And as always, here we go. there, I'm Patty Dominguez. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. All right. Thanks for catching this episode of the show. And the theme or the topic of the show came to me because I was on a mastermind call. And one of the things that a featured guest was speaking about was one of the most important rules if you're going to grow your business. And that is the concept of self-aggrandizement. I hope I said that right. Now, when I first heard that very comment it came from and I couldn't remember in the moment I was like is this from Dan Kennedy or is it from Gary Halbert anyway I went immediately and I started researching and it turns out that it was Gary Halbert and he basically is the first one that I had heard of anyway or he is notoriously known as saying I am not in the business of being a high a high paid copywriter I am the business of being me right this whole self aggrandizement process so he said quote I am the last guy to ask for advice on how to have a successful copywriting thing I'm not in the copywriting business I am in the self aggrandizement business that's what he said and so what that truly means is being tenaciously bold about self promotion being braggy without being braggy because it works. Because as I've said before on other episodes is that you cannot wait for anyone to anoint you the expert. That is the fact. So now the issue becomes, well, how do we do that in a way that we're comfortable? right? How do we do that in a way that we're promoting ourselves, but we're not coming across as douchey? <laughs> Right, We want to do it in a tasteful way. So how do you brag without bragging? So that is really the theme here. I'm going to be sharing some tips I have for you on how to do just that. All right, number one. The thing is, when you think about, and I ask this question to my clients all the time, I'm like, what is the two or three words that you want to be known for? Okay, so having supreme clarity on that is essential because when you are promoting yourself, you want to make it memorable. You want to make it sticky so that people who hear it, you come to mind. So when you think about what I do at the end of the day, I am an online marketing coach. I am a business growth strategist. I was playing around with all these things. And if you have heard the show, you've heard me say it is only when I 
thought about, okay, well, how do I stand out even more uniquely? And I focused on positioning that I really, really stood out. So that's the whole deal is you want to capture that mind share. So number one is you want to make sure that you are capturing your mind share, that it's solid in the mind of people so that they remember you. Because let's face it, you have to continually remind people what it is that you do and how you do it. Okay. Tip number two is that it is always beneficial to have those proof points, the social proof that come in the way of results, testimonials, clients that are singing your praises, all of these significant proof points that show that you can deliver on what it is you say you can do. So you got to back it up, okay? That's super, super important because how many people are out there saying, I could do this or I could do that or maybe they've taken a course and then they say that they can help somebody. It's not really fair. They don't have the the experience to really back up and say, yes, I'm truly an expert, right? So you got to be able to back it up. All right, tip number three is that you want to be truly grateful for the success that you've had. One of the best examples that I can think of is a friend of mine who is a top producer in network marketing. And I often see her postings where she's just in deep gratitude for the results that she's had as a result of the business that she's built over all of these years that she's been in network marketing. Now, you can say, wow, look at the results. She's a millionaire. Look at this amazing outcome that she's been able to create for herself. And it's a feel good post because she's really celebrating the success of all the people that she's helped. And in that process, she's shown her gratitude. And in that process, it becomes really attractive because it's somebody who is being sincere. It's genuine. It's authentic. So there's so much power in that. And so being grateful for your success is one of the best ways to be braggy without being braggy. All right, tip number four is one of the most powerful things I learned from a mentor of mine. He said, if you really want to have that sticky factor and build a long-term vision for the business that you want to create is, of course, building that personal brand. But in addition to that is creating community. Think about it. That goes back to the blog post by Kevin Kelly called 1,000 True Fans. There's so much power in building 1,000 True Fans, building a community, building those raving fans, the people that will share your message, that promote what it is that you're doing, that will give you shout outs on social media unexpectedly because they feel that they're a part of something that is bigger than just their participation. It's the aggregate, it's the cumulative effect and that feel good factor. Now, I gravitated to that entire message, that entire idea when I first heard about the power of community. I love community, I thrive in community, I love to host my community. It truly has been one of the best things that I have ever created in my career. Now, the cool thing about that is that I genuinely love to celebrate the successes of the women that I've been able to help, the ways that they are able to help each other, support each other, create space for each other, really creating that camaraderie, connection, and support. It is super valuable. And so when you facilitate that type of environment, when you facilitate a community, there is such an ROI on that energy, right? There's a return on investment for the energy that you're pouring into it. And these super fans will love you and will sing your praises and share what it is that you're doing in a way that is really heartfelt. And so I think tip number four is probably my favorite because it's truly the difference maker from you having a nice to have business as opposed to creating a movement. And that is incredible. And it's deep, it's rich, it's heartfelt, and it is absolutely a game changer in your business when you do that. All right, and tip number five is sharing your journey, sharing your personal stories, sharing the triumphs, sharing the setbacks, sharing the story, and then leading to the glory allows for your story to be inspirational. So you're not just bragging about, look at me, look at the results I've had, look at all of the successes. No, if you can share the story component of it, that is a thing that people will remember. 
And I know for me, the flaws, the setbacks, the you know, crash and burn moments that I've been able to share, that I decided to be able to share the things that I, that I used to feel so ashamed of, that I used to hide, that I used to not share for fear of being rejected or being criticized or judged when I decided to just show, share vulnerably, share my truth, you know, it made me more human. And what started happening is that people reached out and said, I love that story. I love that share. I love that when you share these emails where you talked about being flawed, <laughs> it made me feel like I'm not the only one. And so what's so funny is that when you're transparent and you just share the human moments in a way that maybe are funny, right? If that is on brand for you to be funny or to be silly or just to share and to be open about it and releasing any attachment to how you may come across and you're doing it genuinely, it's a great connector. And so one of the best examples of that is sharing the setbacks so that you can share the comeback. Right? Everybody loves a good comeback story. So sharing the story so then you can share the glory. Everybody loves that inspirational moment. So that is a phenomenal way to be braggy without being braggy in a way that you're taking people on this hero's journey so that they see the trials, the tribulations, the reality, and they'll connect with you because, of course, people love a good story. So those are the five tips I have for you on how to be braggy without being braggy so that you can build your authority. And so start really keeping an archive of these moments, right? The the sharing of the stories, build a community, build a, the thousand true fans, being bold enough to share what it is that you're doing, working on what is that mind share that you want to capture. See, all of these pieces are what come together so that you can stand out uniquely. That's what this is all about. And so with these tips, you'll be well on your way to start to to craft that unique space that you can own in a way that's memorable, in a way that people gravitate to, the right kind of people who you are meant to serve, so that at the end of the day, the resonance is there, and then you can connect with people and bring them into your world create new clients and serve them and yeah that's how you do it so hopefully this was helpful to you it is what i have over time discovered and while going back to dan kennedy and gary halbert talking about being in the business of self aggrandizement i feel that it is about connecting at a different level i'm more of a heart-centered connector so I've moved from head to heart and when I have been able to do that or when I decided to do that I should say is when things started changing for me pretty significantly so I hope this resonates with you too and as always make sure that you're doing these things so that you can broadcast your message because as I always say on almost every episode is that your message matters now more than ever put yourself out there do it in a way to connect and serve and it is just the best feeling hey there thanks for checking out this episode of positioning to profit please leave a review if you have gained a benefit from this episode i appreciate it greatly and i will give you a shout out on the show as well i so appreciate the ratings and reviews okay also for the positioning extravaganza head over to positioning to profit.com there's lots of goodies over there is a treasure chest of freebies as well as beautiful courses that will help you to establish your category of one and move your brand forward and again connect with me over on socials or on facebook instagram linkedin i'm on the socials so i hope to connect with you there and i look forward to catching up with you real soon